Hi and welcome to the Parallels Desktop 20 tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to install the Parallels Desktop app on your Mac and how to install your Windows 11 virtual machine. Finally, I will give you some tips and tricks on how to get the best performance out of Windows 11 on your Mac. As you already know, the Parallels Desktop application allows users to install a virtual machine of Windows 11 or any other system on any Mac computer. Virtual Machine is a virtual system inside your Mac. So if you don't have a Windows laptop, but you need to run a specific Windows app or game, you can do that using your virtual Windows 11 PC inside your Mac. So you are not installing Windows in place of the Mac OS, but you can use Windows alongside Mac OS like a simple Mac OS app. Step number one, install Parallels Desktop 20. Go to parallels.com and download the Parallels Desktop 20 app. Enter your email and the downloading process will start. They give you 14 days of free trial. So if you need Windows just for a couple of days, you can use it for free and then decide whether you want to purchase the app or not. Once you have installed Parallels Desktop on your Mac, just open the app and it will show you a prompt window that proposes you to start installing Windows 11 or any other system you want. Just hit OK and follow the instructions. The app will install Windows 11 automatically. Just make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and wait until the installation process is finished. The installation process may take some time, depending on your internet speed. In my case, it took me around 10 minutes. I like using Parallels because it's so easy to set up. You don't need to download the Windows 11 file from the Microsoft website, you don't have to configure any settings, everything is done and configured automatically. You just have to press one button and everything happens automatically. Please keep in mind that Windows 11 Virtual Machine will use a lot of space on your drive. In my case, just installing Windows 11 used around 11 GB of storage. After installing all my PC games and applications inside my virtual PC, it used around 160 GB of SSD space on my Mac. But you can of course move your virtual machine on an external SSD. I made a tutorial on that topic. So once you enter your Windows 11 PC, you can basically do whatever you need. You have a virtual Windows 11 computer inside your Mac. The coolest feature of the Parallels Desktop app is the ability to access your local files on Mac using Windows 11 and vice versa. You can download a file on your Mac, then launch your Windows 11 virtual machine and open this file using Windows. Hope you got the idea. You can also open Windows apps on your Mac using coherence mode. This mode will launch any Windows application without entering the actual Windows environment. You will be able to minimize the app in your dock like you would normally do with any other macOS application. Pretty handy. Guys, before going further, I just want to quickly show you my new Thunderbolt 4 docking station for my Mac. This docking station is from the Mini Supuru brand. This powerhouse dock is equipped with 11 versatile ports, including two Thunderbolt 4 ports, ensuring up to 40GB data transfer and supporting dual 4K displays or a single 8K display for breathtaking visuals. One of its standout features is the 140W power adapter, which provides up to 85W of power supply for your laptop, enabling fast charging and ensuring all your devices are powered efficiently. The integrated Ethernet port allows for seamless high-speed internet connectivity, perfect for gaming or video streaming. The Mini Supuru Thunderbolt 4 docking station also has a classic USB 3.2 Gen ports, so it's highly compatible, supporting both Windows and macOS systems, offering a plug-and-play experience without the hassle of drivers. I'm using this docking station for about a month now and I never had any issues so far. If you're looking for a new docking station for your Mac, I will leave a link in the description of this video so you can check it out. Thanks for the Mini Supuru brand for sending me their amazing product. Now, let's continue the video. How to configure Parallels for best performance If your Windows 11 virtual machine is not fast enough, you can allocate more resources and adjust some settings to get the most out of your Windows 11. First, you need to shut down and stop your virtual machine. Just turn off your virtual PC. Click on the little settings icon. 
you can use predefined settings for productivity, software development, design and gaming. I recommend using productivity mode. Go to the options tab. Make sure to move the slider to no limit. It will allow your virtual machine to use full disk, speed, CPU usage and network speed. It's very good for resource intensive tasks. Don't worry, it will not break your computer. It will use full power only when needed. Next, go to the hardware tab. You can use automatic settings, but from my experience, you can add a little bit more juice to your Windows 11 virtual machine. I added 8 CPUs and 12 GB of memory. Next, go to graphic settings. Make sure to select best for retina display resolution. Go to mouse and keyboard options and select auto detect for games. In the network settings, choose shared network. Sound and camera, make sure to select default options and share Mac camera with Windows. If you are running low on storage in your virtual machine, you can expand your virtual hard drive. Go to hard drive settings, tap on advanced and just set the size of your virtual SSD to the size you want. Once you finish configuring your settings, you can run your virtual machine again and enjoy better performance. Think about restarting your virtual machine from time to time, as you would normally do on a real computer. It's true that Parallels desktop app is very pricey, but if you're a student or educator, you can get 50% off and subscribe for just $49.99 when using your school or university account. There are also special offers for military, government and non-profit organization. You'll get 25% off. Now, a lot of people are asking me if it's possible to get the Parallels desktop for free. And the answer is yes and no. There are some websites on the internet where you can download Parallels desktop for free. But of course, I don't recommend doing that. Instead, you can watch my tutorials on how to install Windows 11 for free on your Mac using a free UTM tool. I will leave a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.